Hello, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. I recently put out a video sharing with you the nine handbags that I absolutely loved and was so close to buying, but in the end, I'm really glad that I didn't. And in the comment box of that video, one of you lovely people asked me, are there any bags that you didn't buy? and you regret not buying. And yes, there are, there are six. And stay tuned to the end because I will share with you the bag that I think I will be buying next and adding to my collection. And it's one of these bags that I regret not buying and I can't get it out of my head and it lives rent free and I think I'm going to purchase it. But the first on this list is the Lady Dior in the mini size in the wicker. I was obsessed with this bag. When I went to Milan last year with my husband, this bag was top of my wish list to purchase. I absolutely loved it. It was the mini Lady Dior in the wicker in the light pink, almost lilac type color with the webbing of the Dior around the bag and the color on the little pouch. And then the handles were almost like a taupey brownie type leather. And I loved it. I was absolutely going for that bag. So what happened? Why did I not buy that bag? I walked into Dior in Milan and I saw this <laughs> and I absolutely fell in love with it. I absolutely loved the sequence on this. I loved the tiger print. I loved the elephant. I loved all of the jungle animals on this. I just fell in love with this. I thought it was absolutely stunning. It was special. It was beautiful. It spoke to me and it was very, very expensive. This bag from memory, I believe was close to 8,000 pounds. It was in Euro on the exchange. I think it was slightly less than what the sterling price would have been. It might've been around seven and a half thousand pounds, but it was very, very, very expensive. And I did not think in my mind to myself that I could purchase this bag and also purchase the Mini Lady Dior in the wicker because those are also expensive. I think somewhere around three and a half to four thousand pounds. I just couldn't do it. Physically, I could have done it, but I couldn't let myself do it. I just felt it was too much. I felt it was too excessive. I thought buying this bag when I chose this one was so beautiful. I obviously hadn't had a chance to use it or enjoy it. I was only just buying it on that trip. And I thought coming home with two of these was just too much. And the problem with that, I still think that was quite sensible thinking for me for once. Maybe not the price of this one being sensible thinking, but get not buying both was sensible thinking. But the problem is that's a seasonal bag. They don't come out every year with the same colors. In fact, I don't think they've repeated colors yet apart from the navy and the standard colors. And I still kind of regret not buying that version of the mini wicker bag. It's the only one of the Dior wicker bags that has ever really, really grabbed me. I didn't love the bright pink. I didn't love the orange. I didn't love the navy. I did love the navy, but not enough to buy or to add. This one I thought was absolutely stunning. My husband didn't love it. He thought it was a picnic bag, a basket bag. That is what it is, but he couldn't understand why I would be buying one of those at a designer level bag. He absolutely loved this and I loved this. This is the one I fell in love with, but I do kind of regret not also buying the mini wicker bag. I could have paid for it. I could have purchased it. It would have been sucked up in the overall finances by now. And I don't know what will come out again. I don't know if there will be another one of those that I really love. Do I need one? Of course I don't. I have the Raffia Chanel up here. I do have that one. I have lots of bags and I'm trying to be a lot more intentional in the bags that I'm buying. I'm trying to only keep bags that I absolutely love. I've just let go of a lot of bags, but I still kind of regret this one because I, I do think I would have loved it. And I don't think it would have been a bag that I would have used all the time but I think it's a bag that I would have used for years and every summer would have brought out and worn and repeated and never needed to buy another one of and that's why I regret not buying this Number one. two, I regret not buying the fluoro pink Petite Mal from Louis Vuitton. Petite Mal's, as you can see, there's three on the shelf beside behind me, beside my little doll and I love them. They're just a shape, a style of bag that I love so much more than I ever thought that I would love. And I love using them. And when I wear them, I feel fab. I feel like they're a real vibe and they add to the outfit. There was a floral pink version that Meredith has. Meredith herself has said to me, I can't believe you didn't buy that bag. When that bag came out, Anita messaged me and said, there's a bag here for you. Here's the picture. And I said, 
No, I, I think that's a little bit too bright pink for me. What? What was going through my head? I don't know. I, in the moment, I just felt like it was too bright pink. I hear it. Like I see all the bright pink bags around me and I regret not buying that. Of course, Anita was right. Of course, Meredith was right. I love that bag. I just, I don't know what came over me. I don't know why I said it's too pink or it's too bright pink. And I'm laughing because it's ridiculous when you know my collection and what I love and what I buy. Meredith recently had a vlog on her channel where she went to Melbourne, I believe, and she, her outfit was a black dress styled with bright pink shoes and this bright pink floral petite mal. And I've watched that part of her video about three times for the outfit because I love the bag. I think it's stunning. It's one of those petite mals that kind of got away. Now, I would have to be careful. The only caveat I will put to this is I would have to be careful that I just don't buy petite mals on repeat because they're very, very expensive. There's obviously a limit to how many of them I can actually use in rotation, but I love them and I would be sucked into that. Would I buy this one now? The only reason that I think I might not is because I have added this one. And this is one that was on my wish list for a very, very long time. This was an older one. It's the smaller size. There's a slight difference between the size of the older Petite Mal and the newer one. This was Fuchsia Epi Leather. I couldn't get close to thinking about affording this bag when it was released. I was nowhere near buying Louis Vuitton prices when this was first released. So I then went on a hunt for it because it was always on my mind as the fuchsia epi leather and I love the bright gold against it and the black. I just really like the contrast of this. Now that I have found and bought this one, I don't know if I would still buy the floral pink one as well as this because they're very similar and I would probably use them very much in the same type of situation. I also have the pink mini capucines that I added over there. I have the saddle bag, this one in the mini size that is floral bright pink. I love this. Since I've started using this, I love this a lot more than I thought. I kind of was worried I'd made a mistake with this because it sat in the box for quite a while. Once I've now got it out, love it. Love using this. I think it's a vibe. I also have my sequenced Fendi baguette up there, all in very similar bright pinks that I said it was too bright pink and that's why I wasn't buying it. I don't know what went on with me that day. These kind of make me wonder. I don't know if I would buy it now because I've added these since but I do regret not buying it at the time, at the price it was at the time, not what I would pay for it now. And I don't see a huge of them on, amount of them coming up in the resale market, but it's beautiful, it's stunning, it's striking, and it's the petite mal I love it. And if it came up at a good price, and after all I've just said to you about why I wouldn't buy it because of these, if it came on the resale market at a decent price, goodness knows what would be unboxing on this channel. Number three. <laughs> mm. I kind of regret not getting this in green, the Louis Vuitton Pharrell Williams Speedy. I'm still really drawn to the green. I love it. Now, I have to say though, it wouldn't have been instead of this and I couldn't justify the price of both. But I still look at this and think, imagine having the green one as well. I don't even think in my head as well. I think imagine having the green one because I think it's fabulous. It's a really, really cool bag. I think it's edgy. I think it's a vibe. The color of it really works in the green, but I also love the, the red. So when I think of that, I don't think in my mind that I wouldn't have bought the red. I also don't think that I would have bought both because of the price. This is probably making no sense, but in my head it makes sense. To buy two of these would have been such an amount of money and I'm not a huge speedy lover, although I love this and I've used this. I don't think I would choose it over this one. I was very between the two when I was picking this and pre-ordering. I'm wearing green, so imagine. I just, I came down on the red, but I was so close to the green and I still love the green and I kind of regret not having the green, but I'm almost contradicting myself because it wouldn't be instead of this. I wouldn't give up the red to get the green, but I still kind of regret not having the green. Although I can't imagine having bought both of them. The price of this was just so high and I can't imagine having two, but the green was fabulous. <laughs> and I kind of, every time I see it in social media, cause you see more of the green than you see of the red. And every time I see it, I kind of regret not having it because it's fab, but prohibitively expensive to have two. And I don't want to get rid of this one, 
but if I'm being honest, still kind of regret not having the green. Number four is a Chanel mini. Now, I could probably do a whole video on Chanel minis I regret not having, but they wouldn't be regrets as in I actually regret not buying that. They would be, I would just love to have them because I love Chanel minis. And if money were no object, I would have a rainbow of Chanel minis, especially if I could find them in Chevron in caviar. I absolutely love them. I also love the fabrics they bring out and I could probably pick a huge amount of them that I regret not having, but was never actually really going to buy or be in a position to buy because I have ones and the price of them. But there's one that was so stunning that I just, oh, I, I regret not buying it. I couldn't get it at the time in the boutique. They didn't have it in Dublin. I did see it come up on Fashion File. The reason I didn't buy it on Fashion File was because the price of it plus the customs, because I would have to import it into the UK, was too expensive for what it was. I did have an opportunity to buy one on a UK site. I regret not buying that one. It was pretty close to retail. I wasn't paying over. I wasn't saving, but I wasn't paying the customs or the taxes. And it's so beautiful. I will have put a picture in. It's the bright pinks and reds and there's other colours through it, tweed bag. It's it's so, so striking. I think with the colours in this, it's a bag that I would have used quite a lot. I am a fan of Chanel tweed. I have the black and white tweed that you can see down there. I think this one would have been absolutely beautiful. The bright colour of it just really, really draws me. And as I say, over the years, there have been a number of Chanel tweeds that I've been drawn to and I think, oh, I would love that but not to the point of I have so many and they cost so much money, I'm gonna add so many of them. This one is different. This one I regret not adding. The colors of it are just so perfect. They're just so me and the tweed is fab. Yeah, I've only seen it in Fashion File though and those customs are a lot of money to add to the bag. And the last bag that I regret not buying and I've made this video before. These are updated bags and updated version. I think this one may have actually been in the previous video because it still hangs about in my head. And it is a mini Kelly from Hermes in the Rose Papri color, this color, the exact color of my Birkin. One of these ones came up back in the day for 12,000 pounds. Huge amount of money before anybody thinks I've lost my sense and my sense of reality, huge amount of money. I didn't buy it at the time because I thought I'm not paying 12,000 pounds for that little tiny bag. They cost about eight, that's ridiculous. Now, they can cost up to 20 or over. Now, some of you did let me know they're starting to come down on the resale market. I still haven't seen any that have come down that much. I don't know if I would buy one today with the other bags I have added for that amount of money. It's such a huge amount of money and I'm doing other things with my money at the minute, investment-wise, with the rates as they are. And I have so many more bags from when I saw, first saw this bag. At the time when I saw this for £12,000, my collection was a lot smaller. I hadn't added a lot of these other bags and I wonder, should I have just bit the bullet and bought that one, even though it was very expensive? It's not what it is now. If I hadn't loved it, fallen out of love with it, too small, found it difficult to use, I absolutely would have got my money back if I'd had to sell it on. And maybe, <laughs> though, I was going to say maybe if I'd bought that, I wouldn't have bought some of these, but we know me in the pinks, I probably would have but I, I regret not having bit the bullet and bought that one back then. Even though it was ridiculously expensive, they're so much more expensive now. You wouldn't get one. I haven't seen one in that condition, in that colorway for that price since. And I think that was a bit foolish. And if, as I say, I could have recouped the money if I changed my mind. So number six, the bag that I regret not buying that I think is going to be my next bag because I, I obsess a bit on it. I'm, I'm actually quite calm at the moment. I am very happy with where my handbag collection is. There are not a huge amount of bags that I'm actively thinking about or thinking that I would like to buy, but I do still love the Dior 30 Montaigne box bag. I love this bag. You can still get this readily available, so why do I regret not buying it? Because when I first went to buy it, it was about two price increases ago. So it would have cost me less money. The only thing I can say for now is I have a little stash of Brown Thomas points on my Brown Thomas card. So I will, if I decide to buy this one, get it cash less than what it is because the points will make up an amount of the price of the bag. I have a 
quite a few points at the minute that should reduce it. But if I bought it back then, it would have cost me a lot less on the actual index price. I think it's probably gone up about 300 pounds from when I was first looking at it. But this is the bag that I think that I will add next to my collection. It's the bag that I just keep thinking about. It kind of goes back to these petite miles. It's the box shape. I think it's vibe. I think it's edgy. I think it would go with my aesthetic and the way I wear bags. I wear these so much, apart from the grey one, but the other two I wear so much that I think this would work. And this is the bag that I regret buying that I think will be the next bag to add to my collection. Thank you so much for watching this. Let me know what you think of the bags that I regret not buying. Are there any of them you think that I did the right thing and not buying? Or any that you think, yeah, you should have bought that, you silly woman? Let me know what you think in the comment box. Thank you so much for watching me. If you haven't yet, please do consider subscribing. If you've enjoyed this in any way, please do consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you're not done with me yet, I'm going to leave another video for you on the screen to enjoy. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching me. Please. Take care and I will see you again in the next one.